And as kids, we forget in that moment that one day we are going to get old, hopefully, if we're blessed enough. Okay, so when you're in your 20s, you don't really get caught up in the fact that you're getting older. I say when you hit, well, for most people, at least for me, when I hit maybe 26, that's when I was like, whoa. I was looking, I was like, four more years and I'm gonna be 30. I don't know why the I thought 30 was like the end. What's up, y'all? Yeah, my name is Nick Michelle. And I am Carla Michelle, and we are a married couple. On this channel, we share our junior reactions to some of the hottest content on YouTube. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you want to join the membership to our channel and become one of our little freaks, hit the join button for exclusive perks. Without further ado, shout out to the members of our channel. All right, babe, let's get right into it. Who are we reacting to today? All right, y'all, we're reacting to Aina's Life Chronicles. Hopefully yes. I said her name right. Yes. <laughs> um, I really actually thought this would be a great bonus video to upload. I wanna see what she's talking about. Plus, I wanted to bring her channel to you all's attention. Uh, right now, she got 6,000 subscribers. Go ahead and please show her some love. I think she got some really good topics on this channel. And plus, uh, discussing the whole topic of getting older, I think a lot of us are kind of dealing with this thing of getting older because we are. So um, let's get right into it. Yeah, before we get a reaction, do us a favor. Hit the like button because it helps us grow. Let's go. Yo, this your girl, Annie Brion. Today, I want to talk about how I feel. Oh, shit, what'd she say? Ayana, Ayana. Hold up. Sorry, y'all. It sound like Aina. Yo, this your girl, Annie Brion. Today, I want to talk about how I feel hey, babe, about getting older, man. <laughs> okay, y'all. First and foremost, when I saw the thumbnail that said she's turning 41 this year, I, I actually was shocked. I didn't realize she was turning 41 because she just looks very youthful you know what i'm saying she does yeah so but anyways let's get into it i didn't know a player is 40 years old and i will be 41 this year on august 8th i'm super excited man to some people that's not old but if you talk to these young bucks yeah. they treat you like you grow up with jesus boy i swear to god <laughs> and it, it trips a lot of people up getting older man because you know you physically start to change and there's so many people that's so attached to the physical that they can't make peace with the inevitable. Yeah, like inevitable. you have to make peace with that part, man. This the best I felt though. This is the best I've been in my adulthood so far, physically, mentally, emotionally. It's all about how you take care of yourself and also just not being attached to it. Cause that would stress a lot of people out, man. People don't understand. Like when you so worried about physically changing, you age faster due to that stress from being so yeah, and I can see how, like, now in these days, living with, like, social media, how a lot of people are stressing as far as aging or looking older. Like she said, it's inevitable. We all got to age. But when you're looking on Instagram, that's why they say you should limit your social media time. Because you get on Instagram and you see all these people all young and shit. And the first thing the younger people try to do is attack the age. Yeah, but then not only that, they're around here trying to look older. Remember, you just had that situation well, hold with on. Um, oh. Lindasia. Lindasia, because if you look at Lindasia's pictures, she looked like a uh, like like she's like in her mid to late thirties. Yeah. Um, maybe early forties if she you know look youthful. But then when you see her on camera, she's just like a little girl. Yeah. <laughs> It's like they want to talk about age, but then they want to look older as well. But it's interesting how you want to look older, but then when you get older, then you start trying to want to look younger. Yeah. It's just a, it's just an interesting thing. Like I like how she said, uh, Iana, she said you got to make peace with it. Iana. So scared of getting older. And also a lot of people die before they actually die. They too yeah. old for everything. You have to learn how to 
live and not just be alive, not just be here existing, like just constantly growing, constantly feeding things that you're passionate about. You're never too old to do anything that you love. Right. If your love for it is there, don't stop doing it because you feel like you're too old. No, you let the world trick you into believing that. I wish somebody would tell me that I'm too old to make music. Yeah, because it's like, and I'm glad you said that too, because I make music, but I don't, it's like not the ma my main focus, and it's, it's a deep story of why it's not, but I don't feel like I'll ever stop making music, because I just love doing it, and shout out to the people who stream me on all platforms. Um, but I am curious to see how things are going to play out for a lot of us millennials, and the reason I say that is because a lot of us millennials, we have decided to live bold, take leaps of faith. And a lot of us are getting into making this creative uh, lifestyle like a way, a main source of income, just being a creative and all that. Like, how are things going to look for us when we like, you know, truly get older? You know, when we get to them ages where people start saying, dang, you still doing that? Like, what is that going to look like for us? But I'm shout out to us because we still just going with the flow of it. Yeah. Boy, you don't get out of my face. That's like telling me I'm too old to express myself. I'm too old to communicate. I'm too old to love, in a sense. Like, this is something that I love to do. You have to live, man. Don't just be alive. Live. You're not too old to do anything. Now, there's a big difference between being too old to do something and you just outgrowing something. Yeah. Age is not associated with outgrowing something. All right. So make sure you know the difference between the two. Like if you outgrew it. All right. Cool. That's another ball game. Now it's time for you to level up or move on to something. You know what I mean? And also, I want to say this. Throw this in there real quick. Being older does not mean that you're wiser. So, Neither. And a lot of people associate mm -hmm. Wisdom with age and no It's how you choose to take Advantage of your experiences While you are here Because a lot of people don't grow from anything they experience Because they choose not to They're too closed off And you have to be open to the lessons that come with our experiences In order to grow In order to show anybody anything In order to guide or lead in any shape or form You have to be open to that So age it's not associated with wisdom or getting older, okay? It's not associated with wisdom. I just wanted to throw that out there real quick. So there was two things I had to mentally prepare for when it came to getting older, right? And one of them was youngins throwing my age in my face and telling me that I'm old, right? How I deal with that is I actually just pray for them. I pray that they get to experience this level in life, man, because so many kids are dying so young. So many mm -hmm. kids are folded under depression. They self-destructing. And as kids, we forget in that moment that one day we are going to get old, hopefully, if hopefully. we're blessed enough. We be forgetting. And it's actually a beautiful space to be in, man. We be so afraid of it. Hold on. And then I was saying, too, like, okay, so when you're in your 20s, you don't really get caught up in the fact that you're getting older. I say when you hit, well, for most people, at least for me, when I hit maybe 26, that's when I was like, whoa. I was looking, I was like, four more years and I'm gonna be 30. I don't know why the fuck I thought 30 was like the end. You know, like, oh shit, I'm gonna be old as hell now. Yeah. But it's like, that's when things really kind of start speeding up, it seems like, when you like, oh shit, it's almost like you be trying to like back away like oh shit here come the 30s <laughs> and then you hit 30s it's like life just keep going but um if you are the type to like take on those storms head on because every storm you go through it's a lesson there that's to be learned and if you just go ahead and take on those storms and learn those lessons you do become wiser and it is different levels to life like how wise I am, the type of things I'm getting into now, ain't no way in hell that young 20-year-old girl would have been able to experience the things that I'm experiencing right now. Yeah. Life and is then, beautiful. Yeah, and then it's like when you get older, like you said, life is beautiful, but then it seemed easier. And then I heard when you get older, remember we had you had somebody to tell you that it gets even better. Yeah, I have had that happen. Yeah. 
So yeah, it's like I look forward to it. Yeah, and I don't know if she like me, but she does. She looks really good, and I know. When I look at people that I went to high school with, I'm just like, dang, man. Yeah, they be like, looking at Carla, they be like, dang, Carla, you still look the same. That's because we take care of ourselves. And, yeah, and, like, I really do control the atmosphere that, I, that I'm that i in. I'm really big on people not stealing my joy, not stealing my peace. I know how to go within and do yeah. that. And some people, they get caught up in the world and in the friction and they want to be all apart. And then it starts showing. It starts showing on you. And just one more thing, like, it's this one dude's channel. I don't know his name. It was called Sprout. Um, he, he always interview the elderly, like people in their 70s, their 80s, you know, that age, 60s. And um, he always asked them questions like, do you have any regrets, you know, or anything you would have switched up? They said, and you hear a lot of them, they'll say, Getting older is a beautiful thing if you take care of your body. Yeah. Because they said now you getting older and then your body all like, you know, sick from maybe all the foods or the negative thoughts that you just constantly entertained in your youth and all that shit. Then it's just like it's a see. different it's like two different sides to it. Yeah. Yeah. Some old people that's in their 80s. Yeah. We've been finding some older ladies. Y'all one of them 81. And the other one, 86, y'all, raw, they raw vegans now. I ain't saying I'm going raw vegan. But when I tell you, they look so good. I have found that when people move a brisk walk, moving your arms, breathing deeply, that really does help a lot, especially as you're aging. You got to keep moving. Yes. Man, dancing, all type of stuff. But it's a beautiful space to actually be in. The second thing was like the industry, the industry that I'm, I'm in, like music, when it comes to acting, like my age, put my age down on that paper, I'd be like, they're going to think I'm too old for this role. But once I'm in front of them, they don't even, it don't match up to them, right? So I just be hoping I get past that point yeah. to get in front of them. Like, once I'm in front of you, I already know what it's going to be. I'm not even worried about that, right? I say this, man. Just make sure y'all taking care of y'all selves. Make sure y'all living and not just alive and not just existing, but actually living, man. Pray for the people who throw your age in your face, who try to defeat you by telling you too old for something. Start taking that stuff on as a challenge. Take it on as a challenge. You're not too old for anything. Don't let this world trip you up, man. Continue to cater to your inner child. <laughs> not to keep sure y'all this cup. It's so cute. <laughs> but keep catering to your inner child, man. It's still trying to express itself. She or he is still trying to express itself. Yeah. Don't die before you actually die. Love all it. right? I see y'all at 70, all right? <laughs> Y'all have a beautiful day. Wow. So um, I highly recommend checking out her channel. I know that she just, well, she didn't recently upload it, but YouTube, this is how I found her. YouTube recommended um, a documentary that she recently uploaded. Um, some about how she went from 170 pounds to like 140. I don't know she how she lost her weight. I'm really curious to know, like, what is her diet looking like? Hopefully she talk about that in there, but I'm gonna watch it over the weekend. Maybe mm -hmm. that'd be something me and my wife check out. Um, but yeah, your final thoughts? Um, I thought it was dope. We had some really good conversation about it and she made me think about, <clears throat> I was scrolling and past shade room. Did you see Missy Elliott? No, but she always looked young <clears throat> as hell. She looks the fuck good. Do you? I wonder me? what her diet like. It really is the diet. I I think it it can be the and diet. working out, working yes, out. Yes, I think it's just taking care of yourself as a whole. And uh, yeah, you you know what? You're right as a whole because even then, like you can have a good diet, you can have a um a good workout uh routine and all that. But the thing is, your thoughts, it really all start with them thoughts. If you are a person, a negative person, you always think negative and shit, that stuff will begin to manifest on the outside. And they're getting to a point where they're actually scientifically proving this stuff. Me and my wife were also watching Joe Dr. Joe Dispenza um, on Gaia. 
I went on and, you know, got the little, uh, the little 1199 package because he got this new series called Rewired. And they're demystifying how we create our own reality, beginning with our thoughts. It's very like, you know, a lot of scientific -y, you know, type of stuff. But if you like logic behind this meditation and, and all that stuff, this mystical type of things that we talk about from Abraham Hicks, I would probably recommend checking it out. Yeah. I'm already feeling some changes. Yeah. But them thoughts, y'all, y'all got to get y'all negative thoughts together too. Anyways, um, if y'all enjoyed the reaction, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also, like the video. We hope to catch y'all next time. Peace. You don't really need a lot of more fish. Cause you know when it is, you know when it should be. You never need it there, but don't be valid. You live it in your truth. Only moment when you feel it, that's why I'm tuning into your vibration. Right now, I am tuning in right now.